Oops, stall. <laughs> I was getting too comfortable. <laughs> Good news is it has tons of power on 6S, so if you do stall like that, she'll fly out of it. Hey pilots, it's your product specialist Wesley from here at MotionRC.com and today we're out here with the Bison XT V2 taking it up for just a fun flight in the evening. Uh, this does have the clearer canopy, that is one of the biggest changes, and a little bit stronger tail uh, wheel section on the aircraft right out of the box. Uh, but without talking too much about it, we're just going to show you a nice little flight today of this airplane. So here we go. All right, pilots, no flaps, taking off, Bison XT 6S 5000. I do have my CG a little bit further back, back than some people like it, but I really feel like this airplane flies better with it all the way back. I have the battery placed right at the back of the battery bay. And you can see she just kicks along real nice. Keep her out of the uh, sun over there. Beautiful evening here in Central Florida. Tons of horsepower if you want it. Here we go. Kick the rudder. Pretty respectable bush plane, honestly. Took me a little while to get used to this airplane, some of its quirks, but after you do, I mean, it really is a nice flying model. A little bit of opposite aileron, put the rudder in and you can keep the wings flat and drive it around like a bush plane should. Let's go the other way on the rudder, a little bit of opposite aileron. Power coming in for a roll and up and roll. And we'll bring her over for a little hammerhead. Four point roll, not the greatest, but it will do it. <laughs> and kick her over again. Glide past. Wee. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle with it. Make it past the molehills. Greased it. Come back the other way for a little touch and go. Greased it. Coming the other way. I just gotta make sure I get off before the molehills. There's some big molehills in the runway right now. There they are, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Missed them though. We're doing some bush flying. We're testing those Tundra tires. It really is a fun model. I mean, like I said, pretty respectable for a bush plane. You can see it'll do all the stuff you want a bush plane to do, and then some. Does a fantastic knife edge, too. Well, I messed it up though. Let's try that again. Get out of the sun. Doesn't fly great inverted because of the slat, but it will. Yeah, knock a notch of flaps in. Second notch of flaps coming in. Got the slats fully deployed, getting the nose up. She really slowing down now. Use the rudder to bring her around. Power, get out of the sun. Sorry, Lori. Flaps coming up. I really like the way it flies, honestly, with the flaps up the best.
one of the few bush planes I don't even feel like it needs flaps. Test out the gear. Hurrah! Crank her around. <laughs> I was getting too comfortable. <laughs> Good news is it has tons of power on 6S, so if you do stall like that, she'll fly out of it. I was getting too wild with it there for a second. <laughs> Keeps the blood running, right? I love how bright the lights are on the airplane, too. It's got those day bright LEDs. And this time of day in the evening, man, they're just really nice. Boing. Sorry, I'm not talking too much. I'm just having fun, guys, you know? They have beautiful flying right now. It's a blistering 65 degrees here in Florida. We're freezing. And uh, no wind right now, so we couldn't ask for a better time to be out just having fun with the bush plane. I actually like this airplane, though, when it's a little windier. It seems to do a little better right into the wind but can't complain right now. Get a nice long flight time uh, on this 6S5000. And it won't stall quite as violently if you keep the uh, nose weight further forward, but I just feel like it's more acrobatic this way. And uh, I really like it with that further aft CG. But it will bite you if you get it too slow like this. Of course a gyro would help solve that. I don't have a gyro in the model right now. All right, there's my timer. I'm going to try and miss the giant molehills. If I don't, we'll see if these uh, Tundra tires are worth their weight in gold here. All right, we're going to land it right there. If I hit a molehill, I hit one. Whammo, we hit one. Look at that, testing the gear out. Look at this monster truck here. Here we go. Can I jump them? If I can aim it just right. Let's see. <laughs> Testing them gear out. Love it. All right, pilots. That was a lot of fun flying the old Bison XT for you uh, in this beautiful evening. Had a little snafu there where I almost put her in the dirt, though, with that stall. Uh, <laughs> sometimes that happens when I get to throwing them around like that, you know. It can happen to the best of us. Uh, show you around a little bit of it if you haven't seen it already. The bison is covered in lights. You get the two whites on the front, you've got a white one on the tail, and then the red and the uh, green out on the wingtips with strobes. Uh, you do have ample access to the electronics in this aircraft. So right here you have a uh, part you can open up. I actually have my receiver setting right in here, and then I have a satellite back here in the tail. And then your two tail servos are here, so they're easy to uh, make repairs to. Now, as far as the rates of this model are concerned, I run 100% all the way around on this big bush plane, and I really like that. Uh, some pilots may want to add some expo in there, like 20%, but I really feel like you need the throw on this airplane to make everything happen. Uh, the tail wheel is effective, but not great. So what you need to do is just make sure you bump your throttle as you're using your rudder when you're trying to turn this out in the grass and that throttle will actually make it just come right around and uh, steer around really well. Um, now, as far as the battery goes, here's where I put my 5,000 milliamp 6S pack. 
pretty much as far back as you can get it into that little cutout notch. And that really makes the CG right for me. Um, like I said, I used to fly it all the way forward and it just didn't feel right until I moved that battery way back and uh, it really helped the way the plane flies. Let me unplug it for a second here. I'm sure we've got that flight timer in the corner for you right now, but let me give you that battery report. That is 389 a cell or 59%. So you get a really long flight time on this airplane. I could have definitely kept going. I usually set it to six minutes of useful throttle on this aircraft. Now, what I've seen some customers do, and I'm thinking about trying it, is actually separating the slats whew, right here. So as you can see, they just connect right here on here. And uh, what I'm gonna try, I think, is making the slats just stationary like they are. They're just a little bit open, but instead of going to the full travel, uh, I think that if I maybe just make them solid mounted, it might be even more fun, and it's just something you can try. Now, if you want the feature of them opening and closing, that's how it comes right out of the box. You can definitely do it this way. But I think I'm gonna go to just standard flaps and lock these in and try flying it, seeing how that feels. Uh, the gear on this airplane are phenomenal. Uh, you are gonna have a very hard time breaking this. <laughs> uh, the only thing I've ever done is check these little collars right here. I had one loosen off one day, and you can actually see the video here on the channel, where this slipped down and let the spring fall out and hung off the bottom of the airplane. Uh, so check these every once in a while. Uh, they do unscrew. You can maybe put a little Loctite on them just to keep that from happening. And uh, just to show you, I mean, not too many planes you can do this with and not hurt them. I mean, now I'm sure there's somebody out there that's like, yeah, but what if you go in like this uh, that's more of a crash than it is a, a, a hard bounce landing that these are designed for if you're hitting this direction. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it would actually take it. You can see these gear, I mean, are extremely, extremely robust on this airplane. Now, I don't recommend doing this to your own airplane, but as you can see, it can take some abuse on this airplane. And that's what it's made for, is doing some bush flying. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I know I sure have. And, uh, oh, open the flap up, oops, uh, from all that bouncing. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Uh, I know I sure have. Whether it's land, sea, or air, Motion RC has everything you want. If you decide to check out a Bison XT, they're linked down in the description of this video. We'll see y'all in the next one, guys. Bye.